A four-decade-old mystery of who this skull was and how they died may never be answered. Bradenton police found the skull last week packed in an evidence locker with little information attached. They had nothing to go on but a small piece of paper from the FBI stating the skull was found in four inches of water. So the police turned to the public for help. But today, police have new information that could help in the investigation. We also uh, located a newspaper article from uh, September, or, uh, October 2nd of 1974 that talks about the skull being found. According to that article, two Bradenton boys were at the end of 2nd Avenue East on this marshy area of the Little Manatee River. They were digging around in the sand when they found the skull. The article goes on to say police went back out to the scene where the skull was found to look for other bones, but none were found. The article also says that Bradenton police had been looking for an 80-year-old man who went missing from a convalescent home. They were thinking that it might be him, and they did send it off to the FBI. This article has now given them something to go on, but the mystery is far from solved. This could be, uh, you know, this man. It could be someone else. It could be some ancient remains. You know, it's uh, hard to tell. Either way, it's a piece of this puzzle that could finally lead to answers and possibly bring closure. In Bradenton, Scott Draper, ABC Action News.